Assalamu alaikum my name is Muhammad Ali Raza and welcome to my YouTube channel Marketing Chamber today i am going to discuss with you like uh, how to use, you can set up abundant cart uh, flow so if you are not like uh, using uh, this flow already so you are like using multiple of thousand dollars on the table so uh, hurry up and uh, set it uh, up for your store and like uh, recover the like issues like if customers are uh, abandoning uh, uh, your product in the cart okay so retarget them uh, through this flow so how you can uh, like set up so i will click on create flow okay so after that here i can like uh, search uh, cart okay so here uh, the one thing that is very important uh, some uh, flows are with the burden uh, with checkouts uh, like trigger and some uh, are with cart trigger so you have to uh, add like cart trigger okay so let me show you like uh, so so this this can you can see like this is uh, when someone started checkout so this is for uh, started checkout okay so you can uh, i will not recommend to use this so uh, let me check this one and like this is also for checkout so let's check it so this is also for checkout so let's check it again so uh, you can see like uh, this is uh, the case that I uh, wish uh, to use it. So this is what is the name uh, like abundant card reminder add to card trigger. Okay. So uh, you have to use this uh, flow. So I will click on create flow. Okay. So after clicking on it. Uh, so so then here you can see like uh, I want to like delete uh, and I want to like uh, set it up. Uh, like we can use like uh, this is uh, uh, by default uh, that what is set up so you can change uh, according to your uh, like uh, need and as per your like requirement okay so uh, this is the trigger add to card and these are the filters like checkout started zero time so checkout started zero times and place order zero time so next is add to cart zero time so you can also add another filter like uh, you can add condition like if someone has not been in the flow in the last 14 days okay so like has not been this flow uh, in the last uh, like you can use uh, like uh, 7 days 14 days so up to you so so conditions and the trigger are set so after that you have to add the time delay so you can like test two hours three hours or one hour so you can like a b test like uh, what suits for your audience so after that uh, uh, first email so like here uh, you can like set abundant card flow email one so what you will uh, like add here so uh, you have to like remind uh, uh, remind them so you have to remind them about a uh, like abundant product so what you have uh, like uh, left in their card okay so then uh, like I will click on it so uh, you can like uh, set up the subject line and uh, preview text so like uh, I have something for you okay so you can uh, uh, write some other subject line also so your favorite product is like waiting for you okay so then click on save so then i will click on edit content so most so uh, at the top you can add the image like here uh, you can add the image okay so as i am having uh, in the brand library so like i can add this image at the top okay so i will like fill image area okay so then click on save so you can add the backlink uh, of that button so i will copy it okay so i will just like show you first email in detail so in the second and uh, third i will just uh, like cover up uh, uh, in a short time so backlink here okay so you can add the logo here if you want so this is like would notice uh, you left some items behind in your cards so uh, these are the contests you can learn also 
so basically i am going uh, to give you idea that how you can set up so you can like uh, set up according or uh, as per your brand so you can add like more text short text or whatever okay so uh, here like if you uh, want to ask your customer like if you are having any issue so please don't hesitate to contact us like here i can add contact us okay so contact us we can link this word uh, uh, you can go to the like uh, your uh, uh, client store so there will be a, a like page contact us so click on it and copy that link and then click on it okay so uh, then i will uh, paste it here okay and remember set it like https okay so click on okay so yes click on save so after that this is the dynamic block so first i think uh, you should do that you click on a scroll so save it like uh, abundant cart flow so as i have already uh, save it so dynamic cart for next flows so yeah, uh, whatever, like whenever you want to use it uh, anywhere. So you can uh, like go from here saved. Okay, so uh, click here. So from here, you can like uh, add to cart dynamic block or this is the uh, like add to cart dynamic block. So where you will click on it. So uh, that code will be appear there. So that is like a best way if you want to uh, make uh, like add to cart flow from secret. So uh, this is the like dynamic block. Okay, so you don't need to uh, like add it anything uh, with it. So and this is the button. So you can add the social media links if you want to add. So I will like preview, uh, show you the preview. So how it will look like how the dynamic block uh, will work. Okay, so so here you can see like dynamic block is working. Okay, so if you can like uh, uh, want to test it, so you can like uh, send this email okay so i just want to show you uh, uh, like how uh, dynamic block uh, will like show you the product so here you can uh, uh, like look at how the it will look in mobile uh, like a uh, view okay so then i click on save content and you if you want to test it as an email so uh, preview it as an email so to your email and uh, like check it like either everything is working uh, or the links are working so uh, then you have to like set it up uh, live so this was the first email okay so uh, what is the next and and uh, the very important thing uh, uh, like you can uh, also uh, like set up how like you have to uh, resend the email to those who have not like open it so i have uh, like make a video on this like how you can do this so check it out uh, maybe uh, i i will uh, show you like links at the top so uh, you can like use that so after that uh, after first email so you have to uh, like you can uh, give the time delay of 20 hours, 18 hours, or 15 hours, or whatever. So it, it vary from uh, brand to brand and strategy to strategy. So in the next email, what you will do? So this is like abandon cart flow email to and discount. So in that email, uh, you will give a discount. Uh, so uh, to trigger the customers to purchase from you. Okay so in that flow uh, you will uh, like your card is about to expire and here is your discount okay so click on save so uh, then i added content so again uh, you can add like image at the top as we have uh, done before and you can uh, like use it uh, you can uh, like other title also uh, like your product is waiting for you and your discount is here or uh, whatever you want to use okay so here is the text like uh, we saved uh, you have added to a card so when you are ready to buy simply complete your uh, like purchase so uh, like when uh, you will uh, like if you want to check that which is the link uh, this text have so click on it so this is the uh, link uh, that is attached with this one okay so click on save so this is the dynamic block and uh, like if you are using the static code so you have to just uh, write it here uh, like use code and if you don't know how to set up a static code so uh, go to my channel and check out uh, i have a video like set up static code in just one video and if you are like uh, want to set up the dynamic code i have already uh, uploaded the video for the dynamic code so go through them and uh, so 
uh, if you are uh, like setting up the uh, static code so then you have to set that use, uh, use code and suppose that I have uh, set up the coupon with name come uh, like 20 okay so you have to like use code and make a centralize so like it okay so uh, here uh, you can like click on it and you can see this is the uh, like URL okay so click on uh, copy it save and you can like uh, paste it uh, image here and you can like uh, set the backlink also for that so I'm just like trying to cover uh, this uh, video so I hope that uh, up till now you don't have any confusion like how to set up and what is the like uh, other things okay so now uh, what is the uh, last email of the bundled card flow so you can add like uh, a time delay of uh, roundabout uh, like two days or one day okay so uh, you can like add the hours so then uh, you have to add the email at the last okay so and here like abundant card flow email 3 and reminder discount reminder okay so click on this one like you can add like this is the last email so you can like say that this is our email uh, you are getting for your discount so get a uh, repent so you can set it so save any so then click on uh, select template okay so a bundle cart and a bundle checkout are almost uh, same like with the content so uh, you just have to uh, change the little bit content and there are also a dynamic code so uh, you can like uh, set it up so as we are going to set the email third one so uh, in that email uh, because we are uh, selecting the template so uh, that's why so we are setting the template on our side so uh, uh, that's why uh, we have to uh, upload a, a dynamic coupon also because in by default they are also inclu uh, already included so I am not uh, going to delete all this because uh, it will take time so just uh, what we have to do suppose that this is the image that you want to add so this is the text you want to add okay so then uh, what you have to do so like I can add the dynamic code uh, so I will click on it so like this is the uh, like saved uh, like text that we have uh, saved uh, in the start so click on so as you can see that uh, dynamic code is here okay so then uh, what you have to uh, like uh, whatever text you are using uh, already so you can like ask them like uh, use code like come 20 okay so and like it's bold and you can like uh, told them like uh, this will expire expire in 24 hours okay so so this is the like uh, email so how it will uh, look like so I will click on preview now okay so so this is how it will look like so I am not going to like uh, set it up uh, properly so I just uh, want to show you like how uh, you can set up because main important part is the dynamic code and the coupon codes uh, for this flow and other, other is the like uh, uh, other is like uh, uh, discount or uh, like content so that you can uh, set it uh, as per your uh, brand or like your uh, needs okay so click on save content so uh, I am showing you like uh, emails uh, examples so that you can uh, have more idea so this is the card first email okay so these are the like blurred email because uh, taken as screenshot so here you can see like image is added okay so you can add image also and here is the text like your uh, you have uh, left your product in the card so you can add the text and here you can see the contact us so you can also link this uh, text uh, with the contact us page of your store as I have shown you and then uh, there will be a, a like dynamic code and there will be a button okay so this is the uh, first email 
so in the second email uh, you have to show you uh, you have to show the customer's discount so here you can see like uh, you can show the discount okay so uh, like tell them like uh, five percent off is uh, here and you can uh, create urgency like uh, use it within like one day or whatever you want to use and same is the dynamic code okay so in the third email uh, you will uh, like ask them uh, like this is the last email and the uh, code will uh, coupon will be expired in uh, like uh, 24 hours 20 hours 6 hours or whatever and like remind them about the coupon and show the cop uh, like dynamic code and importantly you can show the like uh, reviews so that they can like feel okay so i uh, they can rely on your brand and they can like complete their purchase okay so this is the good strategy to go so this was uh, like uh, abundant uh, card flow so if you find some good thing from this video and you don't have subscribed my channel so kindly do subscribe stay tuned and stay happy thank you